Um, this is an uh, find the error question. So all these steps are in the question. So instead of you going through these steps, we're just trying to figure out what this person did incorrectly. And there could be more than one error here, but just kind of scanning it real quick. Um, I think I only see one. <clears throat> so let's maybe start at the end and work backwards because at the end it, there's less stuff going on. So is cosecant the same thing as 1 over sine? <coughs> okay, so there's no error there. Um, how are they going from 1 minus secant divided by sine times 1 minus secant to this? What are they doing from here to here? Right. 1 minus secant divided by 1 minus secant would leave you 1 over sine. So that's okay too, right? I don't see any error in that step. <clears throat> if we compare these two steps, the numerators were the same, the sines here, the 1 minus is here, so it looks like the only difference is they were saying 1 over cosine theta became secant theta. Is that true? Okay, so then there's no error from this step to this step. From here to here, this step's kind of hard to see, I think. But if you think of tangent as sine over cosine, this has a sine and this has a sine. So they factored that out as a GCF. So sine times one gives you sine, and sine times one over cosine gives you tangent. The numerator's the same, so I don't see any error there either. So it must be in this very first step that there's an error. So looks like there's a bunch of even odd identities in in here. So is um, is tangent an even function or an odd function? Okay, and what that means is that tangent theta is not the same as tangent negative theta. It's only the same if you multiply one of them by negative one. So this plus becomes that negative. That makes sense. I think this part from here to here is fine because they change this uh, add to subtract. But what about sine and negative theta? Is sine an even or an odd function? Okay, so it has the same format. The sine of theta <coughs> is not equal to the sine of negative theta, but it is if you multiply one by a negative. So sine of negative theta is not the same thing as sine of positive theta. So there's an error right there. This guy is supposed to be negative, so I'll put that in blue and highlight it. Yeah. Is um, tan of negative theta equal to negative? negative tan theta. When you're talking about even and odd, you're comparing a positive angle to a negative angle. They're either equal or you multiply one of them by negative, but the angles need to be different. Like tangent of theta, if this said tangent theta and this said tangent theta, then they're never going to be equal if you multiply one by negative because, well, I guess zero would be the same, but everything else. Okay, and then I think there's one more mistake. So I lied, there's two. Um, right here. Secant is an even function. Only cosine and its reciprocal are even. And what it means to be even is that the secant of theta is the same thing as the secant of negative theta. No multiplying by negative one. So these are the identities we're using. So they changed this for some reason from a plus to a minus, which would make sense if it was an odd function, but that's wrong because it's an even function. You should not be multiplying by negative one there. So uh, these two spots that I have highlighted, those are the only two errors. They misused the even odd identities two, two of the three times. Now again, my preference would be for you guys to memorize those However, 
if that's something you want to add to your note card for the final, at least for just like a peace of mind, you know, even if you think you know them, if you want to be able to double check quickly, um, I guess that would make sense.